Et bien sûr tout le monde, c'est XBSK et aujourd'hui on se retrouve pour une nouvelle aventure sur Tell Me Why, chapitre 2, Lucette. On s'était arrêté où Je me souviens plus. <rire> euh, là, là. Euh, yeah, that's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow. broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. Come on, it's gonna get infected. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but... I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. Over here, Allison! I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne... <sighs> I said get out! Out! What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann, I'm sorry. Please just go. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory is a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I, I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look, I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? Get out! You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Get off my property right now! So, we agree. Brown came out here and bullied Marianne the same day she attacked us. And then lied about it. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash.
can't believe Bron lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Oh, it's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. Guess I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hun, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. It's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? Do it. Yeah? Yep. Great. I'll set it all up and uh, send you the details. Later, hon. Whose votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The Bears? Dee and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice-cold beers when we reached the summit. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? Well, we have an interested buyer. Tina's gonna show him the house day after tomorrow. Oh, great. Apparently he'd be paying cash, but he's just in town for a few days, so... Mm. I mean, we're not signing anything in blood. It's just a showing. I know. Look, we both need this money. And it'll take at least a few weeks, right? There's plenty of time to figure out all this Marianne stuff. It's fine. You did it. It's done. Let's move on. <sighs> so, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded he like it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in! I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. Then why do you keep doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. You seem pretty eager to ditch all those friends and family, Allison. Apparently a cash offer is all it takes. I'm ready to move on. But that doesn't mean I want to burn every bridge on my way out. Are you planning to sulk all day? I don't know. We'll find out. Jesus. I feel like we're eight again. So, you really want to live somewhere super secluded like this? Alone in a cave? Speaking for the trees? I do. Is it really that hard to imagine? Oh yeah? Who do you think's gonna come visit you out there, in the middle of nowhere? Well, I was hoping you would.
You feeling that, Ty? Yeah. Found you! North Star! Okay, now you're the star and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> you were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. Yeah. I can't believe we played it in public, though. We probably looked like tiny freaks shouting nonsense. Well, we were freaks. But that's why we were awesome. You never wished we fit in a little more? Not at all? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. Hey, I really am sorry I gave Tina an answer without talking to you first. It's okay. You probably made the right call. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come, but maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kind of rings a bell. Wasn't that the death metal kid Tessa used to tutor? Slightly older than us? Oh, yes, I totally forgot about him. Hey, look what I found. Aha! I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? Uh, what I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There. Looking better already. You're right. Way better. So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Brown. <coughs> morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be- Oh. Good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. 
Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll make time if we say it's important. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you two were going to be knee-deep in trash for a few days. A few days? That's optimistic. It feels like every time we clear out a drawer, two more just appear out of thin air. Huh. Yes, you got my sympathies. When we emptied Linda's parents' house, oof. I thought we'd have to rent a backhoe. How is Linda? I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. Yeah, she started working over at the high school as the librarian. Pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so... I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh, yeah. Happy as any teenager who's got to spend extra time with his mom. Well, I'll let you work. Eh, no worries. You're not a bother. Dr. Torres, you said your daughter was with you during the incident? Yes, she was. I'll need her information, too, then. Can you give me her name and date of birth? Okay. Isabella Henderson, July 16th, 2009. Henderson? Different last name? Yes, her father's. My ex-husband. Does she live with you most of the time? No, her father has primary custody. Because of my hours. She stays with me on the weekends. What's that look for? I forgot your birthday. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I got so wrapped up in Tyler coming that it totally slipped my mind. I'll make it up to you, I promise. All right. Incident report states you called yesterday at 6.13 a.m. because someone vandalized your mailbox. Officer Vincenzi was dispatched to your home at 6.29 a.m. But you couldn't stay to give a statement? Um, I had to be in surgery at 9. I was already running behind. Of course. It says here you work at Cottonwood Hospital? That's right. That sure is a commute. It certainly is. What's your usual working hours? I'm a surgical resident at one of the only hospitals in Southeast Alaska. I'm basically always Tyler, on call. You ready? Uh, yeah, of course. Well, listen, we really appreciate you coming in after a 24-hour shift. Did you need something, Allison? Uh, yeah. Tyler, shall we? Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about our mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? <laughs> of course, Miss Torres. Where were we? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth, so I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. Could you go through the full details of your morning with me, Dr. Torres? Of course. I woke up at five and got ready for Hey, what are you two up to over there? Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, Mother Nature's juice cleanse. And there's a bathroom just past the break room, behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. Should we just look around? Yeah, okay, act normal. There's no access to the first floor this way. We need to find another way up. There's no access to the first floor this way. We need to find another way up. 
Could you go through the full details of your morning with me, Dr. Torres? Of course. I woke up. You head now? It was still quite dark, but she spotted it anyway. Actually, no, I'm staying here. Through our mailbox. My back was to it because I was shutting the door. But Isabella is certain of what she saw. She says it was a little kid around her size. She shouted at them. Tyler Ronan. By the time I Good to see you again. You've gotten gone. tall. That usually happens between ages 11 and 21. Ha! <laughs> yeah, uh, well, uh, welcome home. What about you? Are you sure you can see anything? Thanks. It's been a while. So, what brings you two around? I'm sorry. Uh, we just can't get enough of the fluorescent lights and smell of old takeout. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not that bad. So, is there anything I can help you with? You might, actually. Is there any way we could see the file for our mother's case? Ah, um, well, you're legally allowed to look at anything that concerns you, so you could always file a request for access. So, we can see it? Of course. I can start the paperwork if you want. It's okay. We'll figure it out with Brown. Thanks. So, Tyler, Chief said you were a mentor over at Fireweed, huh? You ever think of joining the force? Greg's, he just got here. Yeah, I know, but we could use more people like him. People like me? Well, yeah, you know, people with natural authority. Are you really trying to recruit my brother? Huh, and why not? We're shorthanded right now. And since you've shot down my offers, I figured <laughs> I'd try the other Ronin kid. Wouldn't hurt to lower the average age around here, I guess. Where's Isabella now? That's cool. So, apparently they keep all the case files right here. Jesus, you scared me. Sorry. Anyway, if Brown's not going to be straight up with us, we should just read it for ourselves. Yeah. All right. Been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I, um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. Wait, really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from and will fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the rant. What's up? So, how do you like being a cop? Must be kind of weird. Oh yeah, but I know I do a lot of good here. And the team's great. Chief Brown, he gets it. Really? Mm-hmm. We hired this guy last year who kept asking me to get him coffee. Chief canned his ass that day. <laughs> wow. Way to go, Chief Brown. What about you? Any thoughts on the future? Well, I studied to be a park ranger, and I'm hoping to do a tour in Denali. Hey, you know, I have a cousin who works in Yosemite. If Denali doesn't work out, I could see if they have any openings for you. <laughs> You'd do that? Of course. As long as you don't make me sorry I offered. Thanks, Denise. That'd be amazing. See you around, then. Yeah, back to the grind. We'll talk later, okay? Alright, let's 
see. Break room or lobby. There. Fire exit. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. One of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? Got a better idea? Not really, no. Right, let's go. Hey, Gregs, you said our file was around here somewhere? Yep, we keep them all upstairs. Come on, we need to find another way up. Oops. Tyler. All right. I'm in position. What now? Turn right when you exit the station. There's <sighs> winter here. Okay. I'm by the door. Come on. of your destiny. Own it. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. If Eddie catches us in here... There's no turning back now. Why is Brown on a first-name basis with the director of Fireweed? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie pulled some strings to send you there, but... <laughs> that's a lot of money. More back doors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? I did, but they rejected me. Michael and I were supposed to go together. He went, but I was stuck here for the summer with no one but Justin Beaver for company. Why? Well, uh, this letter says you got in. What the hell? So he just turned it down? I'm sorry, Allison. Shouldn't be surprised he's lied to me in the past. <sighs> Personnel files. Department budgets, but zero case files. The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events? Huh? Oh, yeah. The community social. 
he volunteered to help. And since he pretty much knows everyone, and more importantly, who's called the cops on who, he's in charge of the seating chart. Let's put the Vecchies next to... Can you not? You finding anything? No. Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. And saying that here makes me feel even worse. Huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. Finally. This guy has a record. And not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. Seriously? You're gonna try to hack into his computer? We're here for information, and computers are basically information pinatas. Whoa, Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't, I don't know, but there's a reference number. R68653. Huh. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. Hey, you. Though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. <sighs> Seriously? Go on, try. How did that tune go again? Dum da dee do. How did that tune go again? Dum da dee do. Looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. 
Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half-done sorting system. Yep. This is going to be so fun for you. I'm going to go keep a lookout. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R68653. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay. some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. Search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March 1st, 2005.
references 05R62766. summary of everything. Wow, this is a real detective novel. Brown's quite the wordsmith. He's not a writer, Tyler. Shit! Shit, shit, shit! Eddie's coming up the stairs. What do I do? Oh, Dieu! On va... On va s'arrêter ici. <laughs> Que la fait chit bon désolé pour la galère sur les dossiers hein. euh... ah, j'avais beau chercher 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 je me suis dit c'était un autre dossier vous voyez c'était autre chose qui avait été mis mais non c'était le même carton ok pourquoi pas allez sur celui où je vous laisse prenez soin de vous prenez soin de Kedral n'oubliez pas d'avoir là oui étude comme d'habitude vos culs vous connaissez la chanson vous que c'est l'ex ou que c'est le dicton je vous laisse je fais plein de foot partout et je vous dis à la prochaine pour une nouvelle vidéo sur ce chemin et petit boutique et l'amour du pire c'est vous Peace.